Hello. So I got my um, Hobbit Lego set here. This is the uh, the Riddles for the Ring set. It's the really cheap one. It's the, probably the cheapest set that you could buy uh, Hobbit Lego wise. Uh, the more pieces it has, the more characters it has, the more expensive it is. And um, as if you collect any kind of Legos whatsoever, you'll you'll figure that out real quick. I mean, this is a hundred to five pieces. Um, between Bilbo and Gollum and the boat and the uh, the cave thingy there and um, so let me see here flip this around uh oh not bad at the sink and uh, as you can see here it's showing like what you could do with the set and the the boat with the bones and the Gollum holding his fish and stuff and Bilbo's got two faces if you watched um, Stephen Colbert and you watched uh, Martin on that, he mentioned the two-faced thing. So anyway, it took me about half an hour to put it together. And um, so as you can see here, I'm going to see if we can zoom in on this a little bit. There is a Gollum with his boat, and he has a little spot on his back to put the ring, which the uh, Gollum from the Lord of the Rings set actually has also, and I didn't even know that because he didn't show that in the, uh, the pictures. But so he's got his little fish. And if you look at his face, with his teeth and everything, it's pretty much the same Gollum. Let me grab it. This is the, uh, here's the, uh, the Gollum from the Frodo set that I have with Frodo and Sam. And if it'll let me zoom in on his teeth, the only difference is how his teeth look. Otherwise, so he's got less teeth there, and he's got more teeth there. Otherwise, it's the exact same Gollum. And I lost the fish for the uh, that one, so but he still has his ring. Um, so anyway, here we have Bilbo, and that's the uh, that's the one face. Let's see if I can do this. Steady camera. If you uh, turn his head around, bear with me. And then you can have a uh, scared Bilbo, because he probably just realized that Gollum is being creepy. And um, so this is the cave thing. It actually um, opens up, which I think is kind of cool. And then it's got a little levery thing here, so you can reveal the ring. Oh! And he's like, I'm scared, but look, I found the ring. So anyway, yeah, it take, took me about, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes to put it together. And um, it had a couple little extra pieces, an extra ring, extra sword. Um, well, not an extra ring, because there's a ring there, and there's a ring on him. But um, anyway, it's worth it, it's 10 bucks on Amazon right now, or it was. And um, if you want to have a Lego thing that looks like Martin, there you go. So, uh, I do have to show you this because I thought this was amusing. In the instruction book here, it shows, look, I'm dumping all these pieces out. Oh no, what will I do? Look at all these pieces. Oh, I know, I will sort them by color. Look how easy it is to put together now. And I mean, this stuff's really easy. It actually does do, you know, step by step to show you exactly what you need to do so you're not just fooling around with it. Anyway, um, so that's four minutes of your time. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know. The, the next, the other sets that I saw were at least 30 bucks, and, um, probably not going to buy any more, but I got this one with Bilbo and slightly younger Gollum with, uh, better teeth. Bye!